said, said, empty your mind. That is the introduction and the punch set of the Chum Q form, just like the Silum Tau form, so there's nothing new to learn for the introduction set of the Chum Q. One thing you will notice with the Chum Q uh, in each form is our Hien Sal's are gonna get slightly larger. So the Silum Tau, the Advanced Silum Tau, the Chum Q, and then the Bill G, that Hien Sal gets a little bit larger through each. So everybody knows that first introduction, hands up, we drop our knees, your left foot circles, your right foot circles, just with the Silum Tau. Everybody should have this by now, feet in on a straight line, knees in back straight. We define that center line. You bring your left fist to the center, punch straight out. Right fist to the center, punch straight out slightly wider hin sows, and that's the first two sets of the chump cue, the introduction set and the punch set. Now, I know everybody knows that, so now we're gonna move on to the heart of the chump cue form, the first real set of the chump cue form. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start in a good front stance, and I'm gonna run through it once, and then we can go ahead and do it once again together. So. From a good front stance, always make sure, once again, you're in that good stance, knees in, everything's happening on the straight line here. I'm gonna bring my hands out. That's the first half of the first set of the Chum Q. Really, it looks a little bit fancy. Um, it might seem a little bit easier if you're going through it quicker when we break it real slow. It seems like it's a very, very long, drawn out process. Let's now take a look and let me go through that again and slower and in some detail. And then once again, we will do this together. So my feet are in a straight line. I'm starting out with a double bill G where I'm thrusting my fingers. And see where my, my uh, Wing Chun characters are? It's going right about there. If I was standing in front of a mirror, I'd see this circle right in my hands like I was holding it. Now when you're thrusting out here, boom! This movement, I'm coming straight out, and then right at the end, my wrist rolls up. And that's implementing a finger strike or a Bill G. So when we're headed straight to that target, once we hit the target, boom, our wrist rolls up. Why does our wrist roll up? It does that to deflect some of that energy. If you go straight on like this, you'll break your fingers. When you go here and you hit, you go like that, that energy gets redirected and penetrates inward. You've seen this before with fencers. How they come in and they use their foil and you'll see them if there was a person in front of me, they go like this. Right when they go to stab, they, you always see them tweak that foil up. So when they're fencing, if the guy had a suit of armor and I took my thin foil and I stabbed the guy like this, what's gonna happen to my foil? It breaks, it's gonna snap. It can't handle that direct shot. But as I come in and right at the end I tweak my wrist up, that tip drives downward and penetrates and doesn't break the foil. And that's what we're doing with our fingers. Something I want you to be aware of here as well, when I'm coming straight out and my wrists roll up, that entire time I'm picturing a point in space, my fingers headed to that point, and then the wrists roll up. 
So I don't want you to think that you're just kind of like then throwing your hands up. I'm headed for a target, and when my fingers hit that target, my wrists roll up. Double bill G. So from the side view, I'm just bringing my hands out and doing my double bill G. One more time. Once again, I see a dot in space right here. It does it can be here. Everybody's different. We're different sizes. So that's what I'm saying. You can kind of go your mid chest range here. There's a pressure points up here. There's the kidney and the lung channel up right on top of your chest. And if you just go to like your, your breastplate here and you come right up to your clavicle, you're going to feel this little tiny pit right by your clavicle, right towards your shoulder on the, the lateral side of your body. Now, if you start moving your way inward at the top of that breastplate, you're going to feel some points here that are very tender, very sore. And when you're coming out, you can pretend, boom, you're aiming right for those points. Once again, fingers on a straight line, wrist rolls up. So from the front view, we start off in a good front stance. I'm going to come out here with my double bill G. And then my hands drop to my left side. So from here, my left hand comes to the bottom, my right hand's on top. And then I go bong sao, wu sao. I drop down to this side, bong sao, wu sao. And I drop down to this side, bong sao, wu sao. Once again, we went over this the other lesson and I said if you practiced this exchange with your quan sao, you would find this very helpful in today's lesson. Now, bong sao wu sao or tan sao, either or, quan sao. So whether you want to say bong sao wu sao or quan sao, it could be the same here. From my front stance, once again, I thrust out. My left hand comes down to the bottom, my right hand on top. And I'm just going out and up. And then my, this hand on top is just going out to that wu sao. So I'm going bong sao, wu sao. The nature of bong sao is to go out and up. I drop back down. I'm a good left neutral stance and I just switch to a right neutral. Bong sao, wu sao. Bong sao, wu sao. Now, before you go forward, I really suggest you take this form into little pieces and you break it down and you master each little section of each set. So from here, this is simple enough. You can just go to your left and we go switch, switch, switch. And you can just keep practicing that all day long until you have this down. Let's go ahead and do it together. I'm going to work as your mirror and we're just going to rinse and repeat that section a little bit. So everybody's in a good front stance, knees in, Back straight, feet on a straight line, hands straight back. We're going to thrust straight out. Bring your left hand to your left side and your right hand's going to be on top. I'm just working as your mirror. And you're going to step to your left neutral. Fong Sao Wu Sao. Now your Wu Sao falls to the bottom, your Bong Sao goes on top. Now you're on your right side and you're going to switch to a right neutral. Bong Sao Wu Sao. Camera angle, I want to bring this up real quick. It might look, because I'm offset from the camera because I keep stepping to either side, it might look like I'm here or here, but if I was to step right in front of the camera in a left neutral stance and let my hand come straight out to my central line and flip my elbow up, and I come straight out, level of the elbow with my Wu Sao, that's my Bong Sao Wu Sao. And that's something we want to make sure we own and we've gone over numerous times in earlier lessons. So one more time, let's do this together and we'll work that exchange. Thrust out. Left hand on bottom, right hand on top. On your left side, I'm your mirror. And switch to your left neutral. Hands come down, right neutral. Left neutral. Right neutral. 
left neutral, right neutral. And like I said, you could just practice this until you have this exchange. And once you have that down, then we can, you know, move on to the next set of the form. So as we're going through the chum cue, once again, I'll start here, I'm just breaking it up in detail, and then we'll go through the whole set together. I thrust out with my double bill G. Now I'm gonna come one, two, three, and I remain in my left neutral stance, feet on a straight line, proper angle, good bong sao wu sao. Now from here what I do is I just bring my hands over, just like I was in a good neutral stance, but I'm facing kind of an odd position at a 45 degree angle of the room. So from one more time from here, my bong sao wu sao, I'm in my left neutral, I just bring it over here. And then I'm doing a half a hien sao, and it's very wide, I'm just letting my wrist fall and circling up here, 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 here. So out, one, two, three. Face the 45 angle, half a hien sao out. And now let me just face the camera and look at you when I'm doing this here. If, my, if I was at a left neutral in this stance here, I'm not hin sowing around this way. I'm actually picturing something here and coming around. Coming around. A uh, good example would be if I was here, I'm coming around this way. Here, I'm coming around this way. So it's just a, from this point of position around, we're not doing that full hin sow. So in my left neutral, I'm facing that 45. Feet on a straight line, double checking. I'm always double checking for that perfect foot positioning. I do my hin sao, and then what you're gonna do is throw a front kick, and you're gonna land to a left forward at your 45 degree angle. Now, I'm in a left neutral stance to step to a left forward. I'm just stepping straight out. If I was to put a piece of tape at this angle here, at a 45 degree and step forward, there would be my forward stance here. So it's just different, different visual. Kick, front kick, heel places, and land in your front stance. From here, what you're gonna do, and these are arm breaks, actually. We're gonna go one, two, three. And I'll get into this more later on as far as uh, how to utilize that. We jut sow and then go one, two, three. Let me review that again. Face the 45, hien sow around, I front kick out and I plant. Now I let my lead hand come back. One, it's like a waiter holding a tray. Not touching, but at the level of the elbow. Two, three. And then this hand just comes up and does a jut sow. And notice it's all happening here. I'm not doing these exaggerated moves here. And then I strike. One, two, three. Turn my lead hand out. Now, if you were doing this in front of a mirror, at this point your lead hand would be the one facing the mirror. So I just wanted to bring up that little point. So for my bong sao wu sao, I come here, hin sao around, front kick out, come to my forward. Now notice when I also front kick, I'm not, and then thumping down, I have real control of my leg. I'm throwing that kick, I'm placing it where I wanna place it. So here, kick, plant, one, two, three, I jut, and then I do three palm strikes, one, two, three, and I turn my left palm to face the mirror or the camera, and then my footwork is gonna go through a left neutral to a T-step as I lop sow wu sow. So my hands open this way, and now I'm lop sow wu sow. Left neutral, T-step. Now that's something a lot of people don't get because this move from here, when I've done my three palm strikes, you just see everybody boom, boom, and then kick. And you kind of miss that, that footwork. And I'll show you what I mean from there. I'm at my 45 degree. I just did three palm strikes, and I'm gonna put my hands on my hips. 
I'm just gonna go with my lead foot to a left neutral, and then my right foot comes back to a T-step. And that's how I get in this position. So for my forward stance, I'm going neutral T. Once again, as I said, breaking it up, it seems like there's a lot of detail and it's a very difficult form to learn. But once you get this first half of the first set, you'll be able to pick up the second and then the form gets real easy from here. There's actually two little uh, fancy parts of the form that might seem a little bit difficult, but I'll take my time and make sure you have it. So I'm just gonna start one more time from here. Thrust. Bong sao wu sao. Bong sao wu sao. Bong sao wu sao. I face the corner of the room, 45. That half a hien sao, front kick out, and I plant into a forward stance. One, two, three. Jut. One, two, three left neutral to my T-step. T-step's about four to six inches from here. Now from this position, what you do is you throw out a front kick and then you come back and you tee here. So I'm just gonna review that footwork one more time. From the forward, I went to a neutral, I stepped to my T, I threw out a kick, and then I came back to my T. I know it seems really confusing right now, just bear with me. We're gonna run through this together and it's gonna sink in and then you can watch these details again and I promise you, you will own this form. So, thrust. One, two, three. Kick, plant. One, two, three. Jut. One, two, three. Turn your hand out. Left neutral T step. This is a lop sow, like I'm just grabbing a bar here, and I'm my wu sow here at the level of the elbow. I'm throwing out a front kick, and I'm planting back down. Notice where my hands came as I went to that T. Now I'm gonna go bong sow wu sow, lop sow elbow, bong sow wu sow, lop sow elbow. Bong sao wu sao. Punch. And that's the first half of the first set. But we're gonna go through these together in some detail. Let me just finish breaking it down. So from that position where I came here and I kicked, I came to my tee and then I stepped out to bong sao wu sao. And I'm just switching now from a left neutral to right neutral from bong sao wu sao to lop sao elbow. Bong sao wu sao to lop sao elbow. Bong sao wu sao. And then I take my foot and I take a little step. I come to the lead and I punch. I bring my hand back and I step to my front stance and this sweeps around, comes right down the middle and strikes outwardly. Hien Sao in return. 